In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Colossus XT wallet for staking. This video will include directions for both Windows and OS X. This video is meant as a general overview. I've also written a more in-depth guide, which I'll link in the video description. Before we get into the details of setting up the wallet, let's review the four major staking requirements. Those four staking requirements are First, your wallet must be encrypted and unlocked for staking. Second, your wallet must be online and synchronized. Third, your ColossusCoinXT.conf needs to contain staking equals one. And fourth, your wallet must contain coins that are at least seven days old. Now let's look at how to set up the wallet with those four requirements in mind. The first requirement is that the wallet needs to be encrypted and unlocked for staking. To encrypt your wallet, click on Settings Encrypt Wallet. Be sure to use a very strong password and be sure that you write this down or back it up somehow. If you lose this password, there's nothing that can be done to recover your coins. Enter the password twice and click OK. You'll be given a stern warning here, click yes to that, and then the wallet will begin to encrypt. There could be a period of inactivity, so don't panic, it's just encrypting in the background. Once it's done encrypting, it'll pop up this window. Click OK to close your wallet. After the wallet closes, go ahead and reopen it and wait for it to synchronize. Now that the wallet is encrypted, you should see this small padlock icon in the lower right corner of the wallet. Unlock the wallet for staking by clicking on Settings, Unlock Wallet. Enter your passphrase and be sure to check the button that says for anonymization and staking only. The wallet opens locked by default, so remember every time you reopen the wallet you'll have to repeat the unlocking step. It's a subtle difference, but if you look closely the padlock icon is now unlocked. Let's look at OS X real quick. On a Mac, these menu options are pretty much the same except they're in the menu bar at the top of the screen instead of being at the top of the application. The encrypt wallet option is here, and once you encrypt it, the option to unlock the wallet will be here as well. The second staking requirement is that the wallet must be online and synchronized. A synchronized wallet will have the blue check mark in the lower right hand corner of the screen. If you hover over the blue check mark, you'll get a pop up that tells you synchronization is finished, you're up to date, and it'll give you the current block number. With the new 1.0.3 wallet, synchronization is now automatic and should occur without any additional configuration. If you do have synchronization issues, the best solution is to just wait a couple minutes while the wallet performs network discovery in the background. If you've waited a few minutes and you're still having syncing issues, check out the written guide linked in the video description for more troubleshooting information. Completing synchronization can take anywhere from 30 minutes to all day, depending on the speed of your internet connection. The third staking requirement is that your configuration file needs to contain the line staking equals one. To open your configuration file, click on Tools, Open Wallet Configuration File. Again, on a Mac, these steps are very similar. The menu will be at the top of the screen instead of the top of the wallet. It's under Tools, Open Wallet Configuration File. Make sure that the line staking equals one is in the config file, and then save it and exit. On some systems, this menu item to open the wallet configuration file doesn't work correctly. If you're having this issue, check out the written guide linked in the video description. It'll tell you how to solve this problem. 
So now the wallet is encrypted and unlocked. It's synchronized and up to date. And our wallet config file contains staking equals one. Now all we need to do is get some coins. The fourth staking requirement is that your wallet needs to contain some coins that are at least seven days old. I've switched over to another wallet here so that I can show you an example. To view your coin maturity, you need to have coin control features turned on. To do this, click on settings, options, and then on the wallet tab, and make sure that enable coin control features box is checked. On a Mac, this menu is in a slightly different spot. Go to the Colex Core menu at the top of the screen and to Preferences. From there, click on the Wallet tab and you'll find the Enable Coin Control Features checkbox. Once Coin Control is turned on, click on Send and then Inputs. This will show you all the coins currently contained in your wallet, including the amount, the label you've given it, the address it was sent to, and the number of confirmations it has. To stake, you'll need at least seven days of maturity, which is the equivalent to 10,080 confirmations. In this example, you can see that I have 15,000 coins with less than 10,080 confirmations and 1,000 coins that have enough confirmations. Since I have some coins with over seven days of maturity here, and I've already met the other three requirements, I should be good to go. However, since I closed and reopened my wallet, I'll have to unlock it one more time before staking can begin. After a few seconds, the arrow turns green, indicating that I've successfully configured staking and staking is now active in this wallet. If you have any questions or issues, first check out the written staking guide linked in the video description. If that doesn't get your questions answered, come find us on Discord. I'll put the link to the Discord in the video description also.